Hello and welcome back to Katawa Shoujo. I think we are close to getting an ending today. And I think it's probably the worst ending, but we will see. It's probably the worst because it seems like it involves Kenji heavily. Startled, I jump back. Who is it? God damn it, Kenji, it's me. Oh damn, you scared me, man. What are we doing up here? Aichi. We're having a picnic. What? Yeah. I have blankets, pretzels, and whiskey. This is the ultimate setup, man. Whiskey? Aren't you a bit too young to drink alcohol? I'm 20, you know. That's still too young to drink, or at least in the States. You're not. I am, and so are you. What? That's absurd. Hey, at least you get something out of it. All I get is this bottle of whiskey. What? He's rambling incoherently, but I decide to play along. So why do you have a bottle of whiskey? My mom couldn't come visit for the festival, so she sent me some expensive single malt instead. Cool. A likely story. Want some? Mm. It's not like I have anything to lose. This day can't possibly get worse. <sighs> That's some foreshadowing that I don't like. Why not? Hey! Mm. We sit down on the pile of blankets Kinji apparently dragged up here. How did he do that without people noticing? Also, why is it a pile of blankets? Why isn't it just, like, a blanket? He produces an almost full bottle of whiskey and passes it to me. You didn't even bring glasses? Nah, this is not some romantic princess picnic. What the hell, man? Yeah, let's just swap spit. This is a manly picnic. Oh, I was unaware. No glasses. No napkins. Whiskey only. The beverage of true men. Whatever. <laughs> and pretzels. I take a closer look at the bottle. It appears to be pee. Twelve-year-old single malt whiskey, as he said. Shrugging my shoulders, I take a swig. It burns my throat like acid, but the taste isn't unpleasant. It... Uh, yeah, I mean... That's... that's alcohol. I would argue that the taste is unpleasant, but I also have never had whiskey. And I don't want whiskey. I'm... I'm a baby. I want it to taste like fruity delicious. I want fruity delicious alcohol. The danger zone. I feel it going straight into my head, and the aftertaste lingers in the back of my mouth, craving for another swig. Uh oh. It's addiction. We should outline our com our counter offense and trash talk women here where they can't hear us. Damn, I forgot to bring my graphs. Such a shame. I decide to play a drinking game with myself. Every time Kinji mentions female conspiracy, I take a swig. Sir, you're gonna die. Four or five hours, or possibly several days later, I lost track. Oh my goodness. He- Why is- Why is my shirt open? <laughs> why is my shirt open? You shouldn't feel bad, man. Ease the fuck up. Seriously. Seriously. I am relaxed, goddammit. I'm telling it as I see it. Think about it. When did housing and land start becoming more and more expensive? When women began entering the workforce because it created two income nuclear families. Yeah, I forgot my graphs, but you'll just have to take my word for it. 
women are connected to the decay of all society. I see. That is kind of hard to believe. Even if I say that somehow everything Ken Kenji says seems to make more sense now. <sighs> no, no, no. It all fits together, but I don't know if it's because he can explain things more clearly when drunk or because I understand things better when I'm drunk. I think it's probably because you're drunk. No, man. Think. Think. Think of the deeper implications. People could afford to start saying, Oh well, since mem two members of the family are now earning money as opposed to one, they can surely afford something like rising costs of ownership. I see your point, but in Japan has always been expensive. And the price of land generally goes up when a country starts undergoing industrialization. But no, it's because of women. Correlation equals causation, you know. I, I thought correlation didn't equal causation. Or well, whatever, maybe you might be right. I am always alright. Yeah, I bet we have created industrialization too to cover their tracks. How diabolic. So, yeah, everyone can go fuck themselves. He stands up, impressing me because I'm fairly sure I couldn't even if I wanted to. He yells extremely loudly as if he's lost track of concept of volume. I wince and almost want to cover my ears. Ah, how nice it would have been if I could have been down there, but no. You see, thinking like that is a trap. You think you're missing out on something, but at the end of the road, it's nothing but a spit. Kenji snatches the bottle and leans back his head, attempting to pour the alcohol into his mouth, but just ends up drenching himself in it. Oh. Damn it! See if I have is terrible, and the bad thing about drinking is that it only gets worse the longer you go. Today is the day of despair. His voice immediately drops to almost a whip whisper, but he starts talking much faster than before, slightly slurring his words from the whiskey. As he talks, he waves the bottle around, spilling some of it here and there. I don't like this music change. Yeah, you know what the most shocking event of- what was the most shocking event of my life? I have a hazy recollection of him telling about the second most shocking event in his life, which was a bird pooping on his head. I don't have particularly great expectations of this, but I nod at him to continue anyway. You wouldn't think it, but I had a girlfriend here once. I think it was last year. Yeah. Mmm. Un- yep. Yep. Mm. Yeah. I just blew your mind, huh? See, I never told that to anyone. It's true, the thought does blow my mind. Suddenly I want the bottle. I take it from Kenji and knock back as much as I can. I was more recent back then. I thought she was saying I don't like most women, but then one day we engaged in sexual intercourse. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't want to read this. <laughs> it was free, okay, but then immediately following the event, that is the point of all such things. Something strange and scary happened. He throws himself up against the fence, leaning on it, his eyes narrowed. I started feeling incredibly tired and sleepy. That isn't normal. Man, what the fuck? That is normal. That is very normal. I think Kenji might be stupid. I mean, normally that would be a high tension adrenaline pumping moment of anyone's life, but my energy levels would drop like a brick. Something sinister was in the works, so I could feel it. She ripped my soul out through her vagina. I just know it. That is when I knew that women are dangerous, sapping the life force of all men through the one commodity that is almost solely theirs to control. I mean, you you can be gay if you want, or, I mean, it's not really the one commodity they control, there's like, 
flashlights and I don't know other non female options hands you know yeah you're better off dude don't even don't even give me started Kenji was right this really is the day of despair I drink more to avoid having to process what he just said Now I'm the last sane man in an insane world. When other people realize it, there will be a war. A great war between men and the forces of feminism. But the problem is that not all men will fight on my side. Shit sucks. I can set the bar kinda low. Any men are fine, but not the dudes raised by their mom or their sister, that's for sure. That was them pussy whip. Bitches, I don't want to I don't want them. Get away from me. I accept only the alpha chats. If you, if you even have a sister, don't fuck it. It's hard for me. And nobody into dick girl porn. That's, you ain't got nobody on your team, dude. Not a damn person. <laughs> that situation seems unlikely to me. Like it wouldn't happen. Like. Like it's not very likely to happen. <laughs> the alcohol must be working. Regardless, I still feel depressed that I'm up here today. I'm depressed that we're up here today, Kisao. And we're listening to this. And he thinks that because he got tired after sexual intercourse, that uh, the woman sucked his soul out through her vagina. It's amazing. This is the world that we live in. I wasn't really looking forward to the festival with the same excitement as the rest of the school, but still. It would have been nice to have gone with someone. From up here, it certainly sounded like everyone's having fun. Maybe I am missing out. It's just that there was no one I could have gone with. Or maybe there was. So many opportunities looking back on it now. I must have squandered so many of them. I don't- Don't call me out like that, game. Don't call me out. That hurts my feelings. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. I lied. The game is calling me out, and I don't like it. I don't like the truth. Give me the lie. Kenji's over here red pilling me, but I want the blue pill. I want to just suck up the blue pill. Damn, this is true despair. The worst part is that sometimes I feel like I have no choice in my life, you know? Like I never have a chance to make a decision. Shit just happens. Like it was all pre-programmed. Like fate or something. Like there is no way I can, I can have a say in what I do. Quick, ask me a question. Uh, now. I can't really. See, this is just an example of it. Damn. Shit. Damn. Do you see? Now when I'm trying to go against the destiny and take charge of my life, the opportunity isn't even there. Damn, man, you have failed me. Failed me for the last time, jerk. Did he just pass out? Oh. <laughs> he slides to his knees, then falls over onto his side, lying on the gravel of the roof. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Can't you see I'm in despair? <laughs> He's speaking in a sarcastic tone. Suddenly, Kenji sits up, clumsily pats himself clean, and puts his hand out towards me to reach for the bottle. I put it in his hands. I think he's had enough. I think you've both had enough. I'm not a bartender, but I feel like you've had enough. Also, you shouldn't be drinking in the first place, because you're, like, 18. What the hell? Damn, you killed almost the entire bottle. See, it's like I have no options in life. Well, if you would have stopped talking about the female conspiracy, I wouldn't have had to get swashed. Swished. What's the word? I forget. Is this how it's going to be for the rest of time? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like that for the rest of time. Okay. Whatever he's talking about, my head is spinning. I get up and lean against the fence, hoping it'll help me focus. 
I don't know if I would trust that fence. That fence is uh, just just a, just a fence on a roof. I don't know if there's anything else that is, would prevent you from falling to your death. <laughs> yeah, I know. We have to fight the power with all we got. It's the only way to live. You're an alright guy, even though you drank all my whiskey that I definitely acquired legally. This brother brotherly bond is what keeps me going in these dark times. We should go trolling women. Rolling women? What? Get away from me. Kenji. What have I told you? Trolling women. Trolling for women? But we have to do it now before I lose this alcohol-related courage. He's gesturing wildly, madly even. When he says... Is he trying to pick someone up? Surely not. Because, um... He already... He already said his stance on... Sexual intercourse, I guess. I take a step backward. He takes a step forward. No, 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 no. What's the matter with you? Not in the mood for love? Oh, maybe he is talking about that. To be frank, no. I take another step backward. He takes another step forward. Quit it! Get away from me. He leans in extremely uncomfortably close. What the hell? Stop leaning in like that. It bothers me. Leaning in like what? Hey, you shouldn't lean against the fence like that. It's kind of unsafe. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I try to move away from Kinji, but my balance isn't so good. Reeling from the dizziness, I grab at one of the fence posts, but it feels like it... But it... But then feel it give way as soon as I put my weight on it. This isn't good. Though my alcohol-addled brain doesn't seem to be quite capable of registering a why. <gasps> Did I just fucking fall off the roof? Kenji's face seems to be becoming smaller though, which is, which is a bit of a relief. Much smaller, in fact, and rapidly so. There seems to be a bit of wind now. Somehow it makes me feel almost weightless. Oh, <gasps> Arthur! <sighs> no, no! I feel dazed, like my mind has gone blank. I am falling. I can see the night sky as I turn over in the air. The bottle floats out of my fingertips and disappears into thin air as I fall. <gasps> I told you not to go talk to Kinji! He's a crazy person! I realize that this is the fitting end to a truly, truly bad day. <laughs> this is the worst ending! I can't frown, so I look like a psycho. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually fall off the roof. <laughs> That's not cool. I don't want... 
like this. What the hell? What the hell, Katawatawa Shoujo? I killed a child. No. I wanna see. I wanna see. 15% complete. I was wondering why the percentage was going down so- or going up so slowly. It's because I chose the worst possible route. Look. Look at all these empty ones that I could have done better. But no. Look. Look. The deep end. That's- they try and make it seem like it's so innocent. Kinji and Hisao share a manly picnic on the roof. You don't- you don't say that I to fall off the roof and die. <laughs> I know. Hmm. <laughs> I'm miserable. I am miserable. I told you I was gonna get the worst ending first because I always do. I feel like I should have at least got a different ending on accident. There were so many options. <laughs> and I still messed up. <sighs> Let me collect myself. So. I guess in regards to my feelings on that ending, I think I will try and get all the other ones, maybe? If they're, uh, I don't know if this has like a true end route, but I'll, I'll try to finish this to completion, because I know that it adds a lot to the story. Um, but I think this is actually pretty good. I mean, I think it is uh, well written. The characters I think are believable. Um, the interactions, like I can see that happening. And as much shit as I give Hisao, totally like valid. You know, he just had a traumatic thing happen. He has. He's a He's a child, he doesn't know how to process his emotions, so of course he's gonna lash out or respond in apathy or not really understand how to talk to people, which he didn't understand how to do anyway, it seems, since he had a heart attack just because a girl came up and was like, I like you. <laughs> and then he won't, like, just tell Kenji to leave him alone. Well, actually he does, and Kenji just doesn't listen, so... That's nothing that Hisao can really do. But he shouldn't have went on the roof. You don't... You don't seek out crazy people, and even if it's not necessarily Kenji's fault, because he's clearly ill, uh... We still don't seek out... Like, no. No, 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 Hisao. That's why you fell off a roof and died. Which I think is actually like not... I mean, it's the bad ending. It's the worst ending. But it's kind of interesting since he... Kind of just like... What's the word? It's like... Siliquil. Sil like he started with just like... This unfortunate... Unfortunate series of events that started the game and it was an unfortunate series of events that ended the game so yeah I like Karawa Shoujo pretty good so far uh, if you guys have a route you want me to try specifically um, let me know if there's some girls you like more than others if you don't tell me, I'm probably gonna go with Rin. Um, but thank you for watching my video!